SVS has just updated their 1000 series of high performance subwoofer models to the new 1000 Pro series. In this video, we'll be talking about the SB1000 Pro, which is the new entry level sealed version, and the PB1000 Pro, the new ported model in this series, both coming in at under $600. Our full written reviews cover each model in great detail, so if we don't answer all of your questions here, just click the links in the description for the full reviews on audioadvice.com. And if you decide to purchase one from us, you will also get our exclusive audio advice tips and tricks setup guides. These come straight to your inbox with lifetime support. So you can optimize the low end impact from your room like a pro and learn cool tips and tricks that show you how to keep your home theater or home audio system running smoothly. Now let's get started. Before we begin, there's an antiquated notion that ported subwoofers are for home theater and sealed is for music. But SVS has done a lot to narrow their performance delta so it's no longer quite that simple. We're going to quickly go over the newest upgrades in each model first and then we'll do a deep dive on the differences between sealed versus ported subwoofers so you'll know which one is the right model for your needs. So first off, both the ported and sealed versions have been upgraded to an all new high excursion 12 inch long throw driver with high precision tuned overhung motor configuration. The SVS Pro 1000 series uses two voice coils and a dual overhung magnet motor assembly. This provides simultaneous signals to the high excursion driver. They then tune them precisely to enhance linearity and fidelity at full excursion, while this also minimizes distortion and compression. Now, in order to move this massive 12 inch long throw woofer with speed and accuracy, a lot of power is needed. So both models are now upgraded with the SVS Sledge Amplifier. This is a 325 watt Class D amp that's capable of 825 watts on peaks. For the money, that's pretty impressive. In a relatively compact sealed cabinet like the SB1000 Pro, thermal management is more critical when dealing with such powerful amplifier and motor. So, SVS engineered a vented pull piece and efficient high power voice coil to keep the SB1000 Pro cool without impacting the performance. There is a big physical difference in size between these two. The sealed SB1000 Pro is pretty small, with its cabinet being close to around a 13 inch cube. The ported SB1000 Pro is far larger with a cabinet that is roughly 19 inches deep and tall and is about 15 inches wide. To get accurate bass from a subwoofer, the cabinet needs to be extremely solid and rigid. So as entry level models go, you can tell SVS put some serious engineering to the build quality on these cabinets. Both models have solid cabinets that are well braced to resist vibrations. The SB1000 Pro comes in three finishes. These include black ash, and for $100 more, you can also get a really high-end looking piano black or a gloss white option. The PB1000 Pro is only available in black ash, but I think this natural looking wood grain on this one really makes it blend in well with just about any room. As an added bonus, these new models are now completely compatible with their advanced SVS subwoofer app. This is really cool because the app lets you connect to the sub wirelessly over Bluetooth connection and really fine tune the subwoofer from your favorite seating position. This lets you control things like volume or adjust more advanced settings like crossover frequencies, a three band parametric EQ, the polarity, room gain, and there's even access to multiple DSP functions that you can save as custom tuning profiles. At their starting price range of $499 or $599, you really just cannot beat the value that these subs provide. All right, now most people think the number one reason for a sub is to get more bass. And while this is true that subwoofers do give you more bass, most people don't realize that the right kind of sub can also improve the overall sound of your main speakers if properly implemented. Let's say that you have a nice pair of bookshelf speakers. If you are playing them without a sub, the speakers are recreating the entire spectrum of musical frequencies from the lowest lows to the highest highs. The catch here is that your speakers will have to utilize their bass driver to recreate those really low notes. And this means the woofer will need to be moving quite a lot. So when you take those low notes away and send them somewhere else like a subwoofer, the bass driver will not have to move around as much, making the sound much cleaner on the lower mid-range tones. Next, let's quickly cover some differences between sealed and ported subwoofers. A sealed subwoofer is essentially a subwoofer inside of a sealed box. 
And this type of configuration is usually smaller. If you have some great small speakers that you know really well, you are more likely to find a sub that can blend with your main speakers if it's sealed. As you get into a larger room, say 2,500 cubic feet or larger, the demand for great bass performance matters a lot more. One small sealed subwoofer in a large room is just not going to be enough. You'll need not only a larger sub, but you'll potentially need more than one just to get the same perceived sound that you would get in a smaller room. A Porta design is generally larger than a sealed sub since there needs to be extra room for the woofer and the ports. The ports allow air to escape and this allows you to get a bigger sound out of just one box since there are two different mechanisms moving the air around. We've covered a lot here on the differences between sealed and ported subwoofers, but there's a lot more to know. We have a great article that covers all of this in a lot more detail and we'll provide the link to that in the description. One thing that I really like about the 1000 Pro series, as I touched on a little earlier, is that both of these models have been upgraded to the SVS 12 inch high excursion long throw driver. For $100 more, the ported PB1000 Pro is the one that I think will have a slight advantage in performance over the sealed model, especially for watching movies and playing video games. This one produces the deepest sub bass extension that can go all the way down to 17 Hertz. At this price point, the bottom end weight on explosions or other sound effects was just exhilarating. If you want to experience the deep, impactful bass response for yourself, you have to check out the German produced sci fi thriller Dark. At about 40 minutes into the first episode, the sound effects are where things get really interesting. One of the kids trips and falls, and the deep, low impact of this fall just hits you with bone crushing bottom end weight. On the other hand, if you're mostly interested in just listening to music or watching movies in a smaller home theater room, the sealed SB1000 Pro is the best option to consider of the two. For this one, I connected up a pair of Klipsch The Fives powered speakers for my work setup and in my living room. In the same episode I used to test the ported PB1000 Pro, I noticed how open and spread apart the mid-range became with this setup. The bass response in the episode's soundtracks really came alive and sounded more like a live concert. Acoustic instruments and music like jazz, classical, and even R&B just had great musical bottom end weight. The SB1000 Pro also presented a very impressive range of lows down to 20 Hz. Now, sound effects were not quite as impactful or immersive compared to the larger PB1000 Pro, but instruments hiding in the mid-range frequencies like string sections and voices in the music and even dialogue sounded a little cleaner and resolute in the soundstage. Overall, this model packed a more musical punch that was very easy to get immersed in. So as a good rule of thumb, if you have some great sounding small speakers and you enjoy listening to music as much as you enjoy watching movies, you'll want to choose the sealed SB1000 Pro since this one will blend much better with your main speakers. On the other hand, if you're looking for deep, loud bass effects for movies and TV shows and you have a large room, for around $600, you'll probably want to wind up with the ported PB1000 Pro. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so that you'll never miss the latest home audio or home theater content. We'll see you next time.